World Bank has upgraded India's GDP growth forecast for the financial year 2023 and said robust GDP growth inflation to ease. Let's go across to Priyanshi for more. So some good news, uh, Priyanshi, there uh, predicted by the World Bank. Give us more details of this report. Right, Gargi, some good news and there are also some concerns that have been flagged in this report. It's good to all of that. This is the World Bank India development update for the month of November. Now, uh, let's start with inflation. The forecast says that the inflation forecast for financial year 2023 uh, is at 7.1%. This is higher than the Reserve Bank's 6.7% forecast. They, uh, the report says that inflation will ease below 6% by the end of this financial year. Remember, inflation has been about 6% uh, throughout this year, and that's the Reserve Bank's upper tolerance band. Uh, the target is to keep it below 6%, but it has been above that figure for the whole year. But this report says that by the end of the current financial year, which is by March 2023, inflation rate will go down below 6%, so it will start easing now. Now, what are the reasons for this? Uh, uh, the report says that global spillovers have led to high inflation, tighter financing conditions. They say that the spillovers from Ukraine, the higher interest rates in, uh, uh, in the United States by the central bank Fed, and spillovers from China as well, all of them have had impacts on the Indian economy as well. Now, if we talk about GDP, it says that the GDP growth rate will slow compared to last year, and this is because of a deteriorating global uh, environment. This is after the war. It says that right. due to the impact of a tightening global monetary policy, slowing global growth, it will uh, go down, but India will still be one of the fastest growing economies globally. The GDP forecast is at 6.9%. It's lower than the RBF forecast of 7%. The other major point is the fiscal deficit, which it says that the government is on track to meet the fiscal deficit target of 6.4% for the coming financial year. It says India is well positioned to meet the growing external financial needs and that right. is better place than most emerging market economies to be with these global headwinds.